people just don't understand how basic things work. For example, this guy asked if they could cut it in half to split with my boyfriend. Who cuts pizza this way? How is this person supposed to eat their pizza without getting cheese and grease all over your fingers? Everybody knows the crust is for holding. And plus this guy's also kind of getting the short end of the stick because now he only pretty much gets crust. People like the pizza more than the crust most of the time. Some of you are different and that's okay. All my crust loving people out there. This person refilled the soap by putting a bar of soap into a soap dispenser. It's not like you're gonna push on it and some of the soap is gonna come out. They clearly did not understand the task at hand. They had one job, to make our hands soapy and cleaning. But now, we can't do that because probably there's a key that we need to get into this thing. And we can't. Now we're gonna be dirty all day. Thanks a lot. At first it took me a while. I'm like, what's wrong with this picture? And then I realized she took the basket where all the other baskets go. It says, please place empty baskets here. Like she took the whole stand. Look at all this metal. This thing is probably heavy and it probably doesn't have wheels like the other ones do where you can actually push and pull. Like she's just dragging metal around the floor, scratching the floor, just like, yeah, oh sorry, I just like literally made myself deaf. I feel bad for you guys. Are you going to class tomorrow? Sends a picture of a thermometer, you know, that you check your temperature with. And then the person goes, does that mean you're pregnant or not? Like, dude, that's her temperature. It means she has a fever. I mean, she could be pregnant as well, but completely different device. They kind of look similar, but completely different. My wonderful mother put a frozen pizza in the wrong way. No! The pizza dream is ruined. We were gonna have pizza, now we're gonna have nothing. Because unless you wanna lick cheese off of the bottom of an oven, which you shouldn't do that because it's dirty and probably hot, nothing's happening with this. This is a tweet and it says, yes, I'm a vegan. Yes, I eat meat. We exist. Honey, 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 honey. I don't think you understand how this whole vegan thing works. The whole philosophy, if you would, I don't know if that's the right word, behind being a vegan is that you don't eat animal products. You don't eat, you don't use, you know, you're vegan. If you eat meat, you're not vegan. You're just a carnivore. But that's fine, but like you're not a vegan. So my dad just attempted to make a grilled cheese and he forgot to take the paper out. The cheese is still in the paper. And you know what, the rest of the grilled cheese Mm, 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 mm. Looks so good. It's making me so damn hungry right now because look at that crispy brown goodness The toast is crisp to perfection, but then you got the cheese. It didn't melt It didn't I mean it did melt but it melted in paper You don't want to be eating that paper imagine how disappointing it would have been taking a bite of this grilled cheese and then Filling the paper I mean I would have known something was up because I would have been like where's the cheese melting out the sides You always get a little bit of cheese. It sneaks out you know, you should have known. This is also why I can't leave dad to cooking. <laughs> I'm joking. You know what? My dad's a pretty badass cook. This one is one of my favorites, okay? You guys ready for this? You ever had a cereal bar? Yeah, when I was 12. Puts a cereal ball. <laughs> ball. Puts a cereal bar, not ball, into a bowl of milk and goes, how the F do they work? Mine won't break up. It's just big chunks if you do it with your hands. <laughs> he's sitting there trying to break up a cereal bar. He thinks he's gonna put it in, it's gonna turn into cereal, like some, some type of magic. It's on the go, it's a cereal bar. It's made of cereal without the milk and a bar. And you just <laughs> like that, you know? Am, am I doing a good amount of pressure? <laughs> this sign maker who has a unique bathroom technique apparently, <laughs> I have never seen anybody take a pee like this, nor do I ever think you should. Who sits, not on the toilet, the toilet is made for sitting, but they're sitting in a chair across from the toilet and they're just aiming. What do you do if you're a girl? You just have to hold it or what? Because no, this, this, this is not good for anybody. So the person who filled these shakers also didn't understand how things work. You know, you're supposed to use the salt shaker to shake the salt on, not open it up and take more salt on to then shake it on again. We need to teach these people. They need our lessons in basic stuff. We're, we're, we're not that smart. We just know basic stuff. Does this person not understand how a trampoline works? Do they not understand when you jump on a trampoline, you jump higher than normal? And maybe having it on the edge of a building is probably a very dumb idea. Like this is how you die. 
We don't want to see people dying. So no trampolines anywhere near roofs. Please and thank you. Wife tried a baby bell for the first time. She's not a fan. I mean, I think she's not a fan because she took a bite out of the wax. You know, this is cheese. If you've never had it, it's surrounded in wax and you're supposed to peel the wax off and then eat the cheese on the inside. They're pretty good. The wax is not edible. And she just ate the wax. It's like you taking a chocolate bar and eating it with the wrapper on. It's not gonna taste good. Also, it probably wouldn't be really good for your tummy. Lemons, perfect for orange juice. Said no one ever. Who puts the lemons in their orange juice? I mean, maybe some people do, but that is not what I think when I think lemons. You know, I wanna put lemons in my water. I wanna put lemons in sometimes food, like guacamole is good with lemons and some other stuff, but definitely not orange juice. Orange juice doesn't need to be more sour. Like I feel like my orange juice is a little bit sweet and a little bit sour, but not lemon sour. My son tried to cook me waffles this morning. Oh no, he cooked them with the plate and it was a plastic plate, so clearly that that thing melted <laughs> and now it kind of just looks like it has blue um, jam or something leaking out from the inside but we know that's plastic my brother refuses to eat this part of a pancake because it is the crust that's that only works for bread pancakes don't have crust it's the same thing all around you're leaving now so much deliciousness I'll, I'll gladly eat his pancake crust you know if you guys don't want to eat your pancake crust you know where to send it this business owner who doesn't quite get the lingo so the business is called selfies, okay? And then they say experience photographer. If I'm looking for an experienced photographer, I'm not looking for somebody to take a selfie. A selfie is something I can just do on my own. I think he completely just didn't understand. These guys who want to sit on everything but the seat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like there's a seat there for a reason, but I kind of get it. They're trying to look outside and I mean, at least this guy took off his shoes, right? You know, he's like, people got to sit here. I'm not going to put my dirty shoes on there. He's, he's got some manners. He's got some manners. <laughs> oh my God. I've seen this before, guys. I like it so much. I might even make it the thumbnail because that's how much I like it. It's rainy. Does he know how an umbrella works? Because you could just open it up and then you're saved from the rain. Like magic. It's as if that's what he was intended for. Sorry, was that too close? When I get too close, I'm like, hi. <laughs> Sorry for that. Oh, anyways, back to Umbrella Boy. Umbrella Boy, Umbrella Boy. You would get less wet if you could open up the Umbrella Boy. <laughs> And the station agents who think invisible walls contain smoke. Oh man, so they put a smoking area here, but everybody else who's not in the smoking area is still inhaling that same air, inhaling that smoke. So it kind of defeats the purpose. I guess if like you really didn't want smoke, you could like stand on this end. But could you at least have like made them a little bit further apart? Because for me, like I don't smoke and I kind of personally just hate the smell. My dad has smoked his whole life and I think that's like a big factor for me of why I hate it because I've always like tried to convince him to quit. It's always bothered me and I just like feel like he's like slowly killing himself with it. You know what I mean? That's just me personally. I think people can do whatever they want, but it just, I, I don't, I don't like breathing it in. That's, that's just, that's just me ranting right now about cigarette smoke. This not so first rate sign maker. Oh my God. Thirst, fourthst, fifthst. Sixth, the fact that it went through like so many processes to be made. One person wrote it down, but then they also had to take it to a print shop. The print shop didn't realize like, oh, um, you know, maybe you should check your spelling on this. Or maybe they did notice and they just didn't even bother. But I just feel like there's so many steps that it takes and not one person was like, it's wrong. My sister's pregnant. I can't wait to find out if I'm gonna be an aunt or an uncle. I mean, congrats, but that's not how it works. Pretty sure if you're a girl, you're an aunt. And if you're a guy, you're an uncle. At least I think that's how it still works. Nowadays, I'm not I'm not quite sure what the rules are, but I feel like that's how it works. This sign designer who took an artistic license in the wrong direction. He put the cigarette upside down. I feel like he doesn't understand how the smoke goes. It kind of goes like this. But maybe it's just like a windy day, you know, it's blowing down. But looking at this, at first I was kind of confused. I'm like, what is that? Is that a cigarette? I'm not even sure. Whoever labeled this. Oh, it's a sales sticker, but it is more than the price of the original sale. I have seen this happen, except at least when I've seen it, the store owners were a little smarter and they put it over the old price and I lifted it up and I was like, oh, you charge me more? 
and tricked me into thinking it was a sale? I feel scammed. That's happened to me. I'm not gonna say what store it is because like I still want them to sponsor me maybe one day because I still shop there even though they scammed me. Maybe they, they were like zero means less, right? No, no, it doesn't. It does in some cases, but not in this particular case. You're charging me one penny more? How dare you? Fate happens now. You decide. I feel like they don't understand what the word fate means. Fate is kind of like something just happening on its own, I feel like. If you're deciding, it's not really fate is it or is it i don't even know this is a crazy philosophical question that i don't even want to get into right now i think about him 31 7 because he's on my mind even when i'm sleeping there's still 24 hours in the day when you're sleeping she thinks like the time continues which would make no sense because everybody sleeps for different lengths you know i slept eight hours and you slept six so like my days are automatically longer than yours <laughs> That's not how it works. We all got 24 hours and that's all we get. Unfortunately, I do wish there was, I do wish there was more times in a day because I'm all, I'm the type of person who I'm like, I don't have enough time in my day. I still need to do this. I still need to do that. I always feel like I do not have enough time. Is it just me or do you guys feel like that too? Just like, I wish I had like five more hours, but we don't. So we got to make use of what we have. Finally found my social security card and posted it online. These yellow blacked out things weren't there in the original post. And obviously people are like, oh my God, people are gonna steal your identity, you crazy? She's like, how can y'all steal my identity if y'all don't look like me, won't work. Yeah, I will. Once I have your social security card, they can steal your identity and make you a new face, pretty much. I've seen this one before, but it's pretty funny. He has a baseball cap on. He can simply just turn it around, you know, it's shielding his eyes, it's hiding him in the sun, but he goes, and finds cardboard, who knows where you even find cardboard out at a baseball game, and then makes his own visor out of it. Maybe he forgot he had a hat on. I mean, I do that too sometimes. Not with hats, but like sometimes I'm like on my phone and I'm talking to someone and I'm like, oh, I think I lost my phone. I think I lost my phone. And they're like, you're on it. So, you know, maybe he just forgot. Can't be that, give him that hard of a time. Yo, I ordered a pizza and came with no toppings on it or anything. It's just bread. To which Domino's actually responds nicely enough and they're like, we're sorry to hear about this. Please let our friends at Domino's underscore UK know of this so they can help. To which the guy goes, oh, never mind. I just opened the pizza upside down. <laughs> The thigh master, <laughs> except these are your arms. I feel like they're confused by what a thigh is. Also, would this even be a good exercise? Like, uh, what could this train you to do in real life? Like, uh, just crush things with your elbows. I got really strong elbows. Uh. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye bye.